for in here and we are going to be recording a small chapter revision this recording will be used by you only in the months of march april may when you're short on time yes so everyone let's try and see how fast i think it should take about five minutes to revise or record one chapter let's quickly revise a chapter guys let's do a revision on a chapter which is the first chapter of gst which is called what guys introduction to gst it's a very small chapter the importance is not too much, but a theoretical question can be asked to watch this video whenever you want to revise the first chapter. Guys, is there DT in India? Is there IDT? Difference, guys. DT is progressive. IDT is? DT is progressive because the more you progress, the more you pay tax. IDT, everyone pays it, poor people pay it, so it's regressive. Guys, which is wider base? IDT, because more people pay it, which is a smaller base. And direct tax is on your income, whereas IDT is on your Consumption. Good guys. Direct tax, one example. Income tax. GST, one example. Uh, indirect tax, one example, guys. GST. Guys, now you can look at the first question of ICI material. Yes, now, guys, has GST subsumed a lot of taxes? Yes. yes. Guys, centers, taxes subsumed are short current. Sachin, exercise at CST station. First one. Next. Next. And surcharges, which you will know in DT guides. And next, guys, state taxes subsumed or replaced. Really. First, entertainment to G and now you can do the second and the seventh question here. Next, guys, were there difficulties because of before GST? Yes. And that's the reason we changed it, guys. So, Sachin's different different accounts for credit in. Guys, states now get a fair share of taxes. Guys, different, different taxes now have only one. Different taxable events now have only one. Cascading effect, guys. That means on short tax. Guys, is there any GST on GST? No. Thankfully, no, guys. Credits are very seamless. Yes, guys, when I purchase something, do I get credits? Very easily, guys. And verification is very simple. You can go down, check in the out, uh, outside the board. There will be written GST number. Verification is very, very simple. Now, guys, this composition scheme, there's a whole chapter dedicated to it. So, we'll do it in that chapter. Now, 101st Constitution Amendment. Did we have to amend the Constitution? Yes. Yes, guys, we had to. And what is the legal framework of GST? How many acts? Three. One, IGST. One, one, GST, which covers call DD. And call DD, you know the full form, guys. Can you tell me call? C. Andaman, Akshuri, Rana. And Daman Diu, Dadra and Nagarham. And multiple SGSTs, Delhi, Puducherry and Jamur, SGST acts. Right, do we have a dual system of GST? Because India has what structure? So we have dual. Dual means what center? Both have the power to levy GST. Guys, this GST consumption means? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone in the chain, guys, gets credit except the last consumer. Are we okay? Do you remember the GST diagram from your handed in notes? All right. Guys, is there a coding mechanism? Yes, there is an HSL code for goods okay. and ACC for services. Registration, we will see another chapter. Returns, we will see another chapter. Guys, to deal better with the GST portal, we have GST. We have use an application support for service providers. Guys, do we have a GST compensation set? Yes. It is basically for five years. Has it been extended? Yes. And it's only on which goods, guys? Luxury, sing and demerit. And the amount, it's a piggy bank, that amount will be used to compensate who? It's in case of any. Guys, I have heard GST is Jain, is that true? Yeah. It will never touch alcohol for? No. Or can they change this? No. Never. So on alcohol, no taxes? Yes, the older taxes. Guys, like VAT, like excise, etc. And guys, on five products, petrol? At present, guys, is there any GST on that? So, on the petrol pump, do you get a GST invoice? But in future, they can notify you. Guys, on tobacco, UPMM, tobacco products, we have excise duties as well as. Guys, this week, again, we will see ahead because the first chapter, some things will come ahead. Guys, in the same state, it's called what? What applies? CGS and S. And if it's different states? IGS. All right. Do we have a GST portal, guys? Yes. yes. We can't open it right now because that will not be asked in the exam. But what is left is a mark. Guys, what is F? Okay. Analysis. R. Let's see. Computer. Guys, these five things. Of course, you can do many more things. But these five things you can do. Guys, are there constitutional amendments? Yeah. Earlier, there was an article called 
Um, let's do it now, guys. Three lists. Yeah, three lists. Which are the three lists? Stay on fire. Guys, concurrent list had a problem. They didn't have what? Yes. Tax. So they had to put tax in it by introducing a new article called Article 46A, which put GST in the concurrent list. Article 269A mainly speaks about proportion okay. the wild GST, and there's a GST council headed by whom, guys? Local Finance Minister. But does it have state representatives? For any decision to be passed, center only has states have and guys decision taken by the GST council are different chapter names. Guys, this is the way we revise. These are the videos you will be watching later on so that your revision happens very, very quickly guys. And this quick book, all of the current students get free access to it. I'll send you a drive link which has the quick book which has handed in notes but not right now once we finish GST. Yes. So great Sunday, guys. Thank you. And see you guys now tomorrow. Uh, and we'll continue from there. Thank you. Uh, it's time to revise one more chapter, guys. This is the quick book. This is for May 24. Just it will not take too much time. We'll take a very small chapter. We've already revised the first chapter. It's now time to revise chapter number two, which is called. This is being recorded, guys. And this you will be using ahead also. Whenever you want to revise this chapter. Today, tomorrow, even one day before the exam, guys, you will be using this video to revise the chapter. Participate as much as you can. Guys, which chapter are we looking at? The importance is 515, a very practical chapter. And this one will be there in your exams, more or less in May exams, this is asked often. So we need to understand the value because GST is always given as a percentage. Guys, GST is always add valorum. Do you remember add valorum? It's always given as a Percentage and hence we need to determine the value of sub. Three sections, guys. First one, section 15 1. Section 15, because at the age of 15, you realize the value of things. 15 1 says you can take the that is a price finally agreed upon, guys. And guys, this you can take only when the buyer and seller are on and price is the sole. That means you're not doing any barter, you're not doing any exchange. You went to EBC, bought the bike for 1 lakh rupees. So what is the transaction value, guys? 1 lakh. That's the starting point. Is that right, guys? Which section talks about that? 15.1. We'll talk about related persons later, guys. But 15.2 says, can we add some items? Guys, we can add how many items? 5. Tax, these, item, sale, supply. You can add every tax except Next, guys, any third party whose liability was it? He was supposed to pay, but who paid, guys? So, then in that case, the recipient is giving an indirect benefit to the supplier. So, add that also. That is called what? Third party. Next, incident tracking, delivery, testing. Yes, installation, all that are incidental expenses. Everyone has to participate, guys. No exceptions. Yes, and these incidental charges. If you charge, should we add it? Yes. What if you don't charge? No, I don't. Don't add because unless you get some money, the government doesn't want what, guys? GSA. So any incidental expenses collected or to be collected. Example, guys. Hacking, delivery, testing, way, etc. And FOR delivery means Amazon. Guys, FOR means do they deliver to your house? Yes. All right. Next, guys, interest. Guys, can the supplier charge you interest? Yeah. Or, or penalty? And guys, will you add it that also? Yes, because once someone is registered, on in, even on interest, penalty, late fee, etc., there will be what? GST. But in the exam, if they say that the recipient has only paid, guys, this person has only paid 7,000, nothing more. Only. Then, guys, remember lace packet. When you pay 20 rupees for the lace packet, is there anything more you pay? No. That means what is included? And how will you separate, guys? You take example 7,000 divided by into. And you will add only that net amount, whichever 6,000 amount, whichever net is that the amount you will add. How do you know it is 18%? You have to buy hard details. Interest rate is what? 18%. And guys, any subsidy which is received, other than which subsidy? So, Ratan Dada Foundation subsidy, will you add? In the exam, the wording says that the price is after subsidy. After means? Without trade. Guys, remember Zara shirt? After discount. So, after subsidy means they have? Minus it, you need to. Right. Net of subsidy means they have minus, you need to. Right. Excellent. Now, guys, you can do these questions from ICI material. When you reach here, these are all material references. Now, section 15.
can you deduct the value? Mm, yes. Guys, there are two things you can deduct the value. First one, okay. avoid this. Anything that is given at the time of supply, if you are not benefiting, the government also doesn't want to benefit. Or any post supplier discount. That is discount not given today. Given after two months, three months, four months, six months. Is it post supply? Yes. Guys, will you agree if ICI reduces your foundation marks, inter marks? No. Unless, guys, this post supply discount is in the nature of take. What is take? The terms are told at the time of supply. The discount is given. And guys, if, 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 only if you've taken some excess credit, you have to reverse it. Oh, I'm a student. I don't take credit. Then don't reverse. If you've taken credit, you will reverse. Guys, discounts like staggered discount, uh, cash payment discount, early payment discount, turnover discount, any discount, guys. Doesn't matter the name. Just check for the terms. If the terms have been agreed, then minus it. If the terms are not agreed. Guys, this is a company called Parleji. They are selling biscuits to dealers. They sell the biscuits for 8 rupees. How much guys? But the Paliji biscuits, something is wrong with it guys and they want to reduce it later on. Can they do that? No. no. But what if it's agreed at the time of supply? Yes. Then they can. Guys, here you can do these questions and you can go to the giant 21 paper and you can do question number 5 which is for how many marks guys? 4 marks. So this is a very good book to take references. Again, you can go to November 20 paper and you can do 6 here for how many marks guys? 6. Guys, is there a definition of related person? A family yeah, okay. one, two, twenty-five, six. This definition is used in at least three, four chapters. First, next family, next family will both ways. Next, common control. Oh, officers, directors in the same company. B, the same partnership of employer, employee, and anywhere you control twenty-five percent of equity share capital. And what is family, guys? Self. Spouse, children, always. Your child is taller than you. Still, earns more than you. Still, uh, guys, doesn't matter. But your siblings, well, only if they are dependent. Dependent means, of course, financially dependent. Guys, this is the revision video you'll watch. Immediately, you will do as many sums as you can because the gold lies in the sums, guys. The content is only this much. Over to back to back sums, watch this video every time you want to revise a chapter called Value of Thank you so much, guys. Good night. Thank you. Guys, in the scheme of revisions, we've revised two chapters already and now it's time to revise one more chapter so that we can revise this and use this video later on. Uh, the first chapter we revised was which one? Then we revised value of supply and now this everyone, everyone including the person who's hiding behind the bag has to, bag, has to revise here. Yes, this chapter is called supply under GNC. Guys, is there a definition of goods? Goods includes everything except Buying and stimul property, not goods, money, securities, not So tomorrow if you buy a share for 1000 rupees, will you pay GST on that? No. But on the brokerage? Yes. Okay. It's numismatic currency. Do you know collection? If you have an old coin, old note, it's not in use right now. So that's not money. Money is only the one you can use. Next, services, everything except? Yeah. Yes. Business is any trade, commerce or manufacturer. There's nothing in this definition. Guys, how many types of supply? We've not seen this. We'll see it in another chapter. But do you know what is taxable supply? Yes. Do you know what is export supply? Do you know what is exempt supply? Exempt is how many ends, guys? Nil. Non-taxable. There is something called. Guys, the first to the government is. Next to the government is. So in the first two, will you get credits? Yes. And the next two? No. Supplier is the one who. Supplies. Recipient is the one who pays. Supply can be anything guys. You can sell, you can lease, etc. What are deemed distinct persons? Person under the same and having different registration. Consideration means any quid pro Something in? Guys, does it have to be always monetary? No. Without police shooting an ad for Audi. Yes, excellent. Actionable claim means a claim where you can demand some money. Unsecured debt is actionable claim. Lottery, betting, gambling is also actionable claims. Taxable territory, wherever you see this word, it means India. Yeah. And earlier regime, we had different taxable events. Now we have only one taxable event, which is supply. Is it like the oxygen of GST? If no supply. And the first supply section, 71A, which is the main section, which says that supply has two twin conditions, B plus C. It should be in the course of 
and there should be example guys electric bike company is selling bikes is it in the course of business is there consideration yes is it supply and when it's supply who's smiling guys but on the other hand you selling your old mobile phone on olx but consideration is there but business is not there yes uh you can receive the money from third party also and we will see this non compete ahead guys so it's not here some parts we will be seeing in other chapters this one and this one we will be seeing in other chapters guys can you donate to charitable organization yeah, yeah, yeah. if it's a pure donation then no problem but if you put your company's name etc then quit pro and guys any artwork supplied to exhibition no consideration ex guys we will be studying this ahead now we move to the next one guys if it's supply whether it's supply of goods or services given with schedule so okay it all depends on if the title is being transferred today or in the near future long future then it is supply of goods for example etc selling a bike whether an emi or not an emi but guys if it's no title transfer example renting of a bike then it is supply of guys works contract what is works contract guys if i don't want to buy this bench can i ask the carpenter to make it for me i will give him two things yes sir specifications and main material guys next is restaurant will always be tenancy rights will always be and sale of undivided share in property will always be surplus guys building is immovable property will it be subject to gst no but if you buy construction services remember that date com completion certificate before that yes the after that two four guys these are the questions you will do at this stage from icci material or you can use our book also but the numbers will change this reference to which question guys icci 71b is from bahar se guys when you get bahar se services b is on the left hand side so whether b is there or if you are basically it's in the course of business or otherwise will there be gst yes two question number 10 at this point next guys 71c Which when there is no C, guys, it does not require any C, but it should be in the course of guys. This is related to schedule one because you do not even get one related. You forty eighty. In related, you add. So if you are supplying free to any related persons, including, will that be GST? Yes. Do you know member family can co? Can we can we cut him? Guys, your parents, grandparents, and siblings only if they are. Depend. All right. But remember, guys, employer giving employee a gift up to how much per annum, guys, will not be subject to any GST, even though they are related. Yes. Next, supplying to whom? Next, importing from whom? Right. Yes. But this has to be importation from related party. Now, it's a business. But two conditions. It has to be permanent disposal, guys. What is it? And on which you have taken credit. Phones are very nice. Question number two and question number three at this one point. And also a question from November twenty paper. Eight C. How many marks? You should go to those questions. Do it, guys. It'll be a great finish. Try and revise it like this, guys. What is the Dell Credit region, guys? Sorry, the spelling is wrong. Dell Credit region, guys. You are in the demand credit region. Does he sell your goods? Yes. Does he issue an invoice? Yes. But he also helps you. recover and if the person doesn't pay on time he will also recover interest late fee penalty which will also be subject to gst next supply schedule 3 is it a negative list yeah. in this case guys is there anything which is taxable no employees getting what partner getting what so constitutional positions mps and family salary on any salary guys there is no gst on movement of cars buses etc Government position, constitutional positions, no GST. Court fees, which license? Alcohol license. GST is GST. Actionable claims, no GST except lottery, betting, gambling, and burial services. Guys, no GST. Do these questions once you finish this. Next, guys. Once you know it is supply, there is a section called section. In section here, guys, you will only go to this section where the shortcut is multiple one. What do you mean by multiple one? Guys, I'm buying this this one, this mic. Is there any composite mix supply? No. But I buy this bike with uh, this mic with this camera both together for one price. Then you will check this multiple one means multiple of supply. How many price? One. If it's no problem, means is it naturally bundled? 
and is there a principal supply in this case guys this is a naturally bundled okay is there a principal supply no so it is called what and which rate will apply guys but if it is naturally bundled and principal supply then which rate will apply principal supply example mobile phone and hotel and vehicles guys if someone is i give someone uh, some book to print and he does printing for me it's supply of service but he gives the content also and like greeting card and the, then it is a goods yes uh, anything else that's it guys so you can read this quick book here this is section 7 this is section 8 guys you watch this video stop this video wherever possible start doing sums get back or watch this video with your handed notes and then back to back do only sums thank you so much guys good night see you tomorrow quick book everyone okay all good all good all good everyone has to participate Yes, revising a chapter which is called charge of GST, a really important chapter in the scheme of things. RCM is here, composition scheme is here, so we need to do this really well. I'm using the quick book. You can use your handwritten notes or any books that you have. You can refer. And this is a quick and the quickest revision on the chapter called charge of GST. Guys, if there's an intrastate supply, what applies? GST. Yes. Yes. If it's interstate, definition of India is not important. Section nine one. Is which mechanism? Government is power charge mechanism. EBC is selling a bike. When they sell a bike, guys, when they charge GST, to the customer, and one guy will bear the burden, the other guy will bear the headache. Here is a diagram, guys. EBC, they will charge. How much is the bike for? One lakh plus how much GST? To whom, guys? Customer who will bear the burden, they will pay EBC, and EBC will bear the headache. What is headache, guys? Headache means registering under GST. Filing the return, going to a CA, all that is headache. So when both is divided B and H, it is forward charge mechanism, guys. Forward charge mechanism. Next nine to is same forward charge mechanism, but for which products, guys? Five, five products, which is five petroleum products. Do you remember them? Petrol, diesel, natural gas, oil, and aviation turbine and fuel. Guys, nine three and nine four will come back because that mechanism is reverse charge. But now we are going to something which is your nine five. Let's go to nine five quickly and revise that. Nine five is what? Taxation on e-commerce. Guys, we use e-commerce all the time. We download apps and we use them. But in case of four e-commerce operators, how many? Four. Housekeeping, taxi, hotel, and restaurant. Let me take an example of Make My Trip. I use Make My Trip to book a Taj Hotel. And is this me? So in, will I pay the burden, guys? Yes. But who will pay the GST to the government, guys? MMT or Taj? There's a confusion, and hence the government said, "I don't like confusion. I'm going to nominate one of them." And they have said that e-commerce operators, that is MMT, will be paying the GST to the government. Is that right? In how many services? Notified services. Four. Guys, recently they've added restaurants. So my prediction for your exam is that restaurant will be a part of your exam question. But if you order from a small restaurant, no problem. Zomato will pay the GST. But if you order from a restaurant which is in a hotel which has 18% GST, that means the room rates are really expensive. 18% GST. Then in that case, guys, who will pay the GST to the government? Not Zomato, not the e-commerce operator, but the restaurant, that hotel. Are we okay with this, guys? Yes. Uh, this is e-commerce transactions. This is HCHR. Now, guys, we move to RCM. Everyone remembers RCM, guys. In RCM, we've learned the entire sentence except this one restaurant part. We've not done this part because it will come again in exemption chapter. So don't worry about this. I put it up here. So when we revise after the entire portion, you'll have reference. But this resident part, leave it for the next chapter. That is the exemption. I some lawyers, lady, cards, men, RBI, DIG, good government, and CCD sponsored breakfast, reverse basic charge. In all these, is there a supplier? Yes. Is there a recipient? I the government wants what? Yes, please. They does it doesn't care. They don't care whether it's FCM or it's. But RCM was the hero guy, the recipient. He will bear the burden also, and the headache, and he will pay the government under which mechanism? RCM. Generally, these guys here are bigger guys. They are already registered. They are big guys. Except one. Remember, partnership form which is unregistered. Otherwise, mostly all of them are registered. Yes, let's see. The first one. Yes. Security service. Except the comp, the security service provider should not be a company. Good guys. Next lawyers. Is it under RCM? Yes, a uh, lawyer is similar to criminal service. So we have done criminal laws. Next, lending. What are you lending? <laughs> Let the Motila Luswal kind of guys pay the GST under which mechanism? Next, car rental, C connection, supplier, not a company, recipient, company, and this is car. Car with fuel basically. Next, guys, med. 
I I G A. Guys, I'm exporting something. Will I take it? Interstate. Will I take it? Intrastate. I'm sending something to Mars. I'm sending petrol, diesel. Will I take everything? I explain it. Yes, yes, and yes. Except I I G A. No interest. No invoice supply. No GST. And you are not taxable. Schedule three. You will not take that. All right. Except that you will take everything. And now, guys, once you're in this scheme, guys, please tell me six things that you cannot do. Casually, meeting, nicely, study, enter, online, income tax, because it's the same thing. Anyway, you cannot be a CTP or a NRT. Remember, Delhi exhibition will not have any composition scheme. You cannot be supplying non-taxable. Guys, remember, NIL, that I can supply. Notification, that, but non-taxable, I cannot. I cannot manufacture prohibited goods. Do you remember prohibited goods? Shortcut. Pita, bread. Pan masala. Tobacco, aerated water, bricks. You cannot manufacture trading. That's okay. Next, you cannot supply services. Except with services, guys. Marginal service, restaurant service. You cannot supply interstate and you cannot supply online. Guys, perfect. Now, here, 1.5 crore is normal. 75 lakh is for which states. Northeastern states, except Assam replaced by Uttarakhand. So, Uttarakhand has a limit of. Other states have a limit of 155 crore. Now, once you pick up the scheme, what GST you will pay? Five, one. Can you charge it to your customers? No, you pay out of your own resources. Next, guys. Um, can you switch to this scheme anytime? Yes, but if you're already registered, can I charge this to my customers? No. So, I'll issue them a bill of supply, not a tax. And the biggest negative of this uh, section or scheme is you will not get any credit. Can I get out of the scheme? Yes, you can either get out. Voluntarily, or when you cross one of those turnovers 1.5, or when you do six things, or can the GST officer throw you over? Yes. And what are the marginal services? They are minor services. Are you allowed to do minor services? Yes. yes. So what is the limit? Higher of A and B. What is A? What is B? Last year's turnover is 10%, whichever is higher. Perfect, guys. This is that. Now, is the same scheme applicable for 10 to A also? Yes, it is small service provider. This also is applicable for small service providers. First step, you should be a service provider. Second step, your turnover should be up to. But here the rate is how much, guys? Please be. Otherwise, all provisions remain the same. Are we okay with this? And remember, guys, if my one entity is under composition scheme, all need to be under composition scheme. Do you remember that? One plan. One turnover, one scheme. That means if one I have chosen. Yes, we'll need your handed and notes out, guys. Because we need to revise this chapter through my handwritten notes and through my QuickBook. Everyone, revising a chapter which is very, very important from an exam perspective. You know this chapter gets you 8 marks, compulsory marks in exam. So with that kind of attention, uh, let's try and revise this very, very important chapter. Uh, there are two chapters linked to each other. So this video when you watch, you are basically revising two chapters. Yes, everyone, what is the name of the chapter, guys? ITC. ITC along with payment is going to be your first question number five for how many marks? Eight marks. Ultimately, guys, ITC is it a good thing. It's a great thing because ITC means whenever you purchase, PC, purchase leads to what? And government says on your purchases, I'll give you credit. It's a great thing because it's like your PTM money. But guys, there are some conditions. So there are three things you purchase. One is inputs. One is input. Services are one is capital. Remember inputs like batteries, input services like CA services, and uh, capital goods like your tempo bought by EBC. First section 16 one says two conditions. What are the two yeah. conditions? Yeah. PR. P is the purchases should be in relation to your business, even if it's intention for business. Yes, that fire extinguisher, if it's around, guys, where is the intention to use it for business? So can we take credit? Yeah. And R is you should be registered. Those are two basic conditions. Next 16 2. PRGR. Are you buying batteries? Do you want credit? Please show us a document. Document means invoice. We'll ahead see debit notes, credit notes also. Not just you, the debit, uh, the invoice has to be uploaded by who? The supplier. Guys, what if he doesn't upload it? And what if your friend tells you 5%, 10%? Don't miss it, guys. Yes, all right. Next is R. R is received. You will receive the goods only then, or services also only then can you take credit. What if it's received in lots? Last lot. Very smart government says only when you receive the last lot. And what if it's bill to ship to? What is bill to ship to? Bill to ship to is I am buying the batteries, but I'm telling the battery supply company to give it to my factory in Chennai. So in that case, guys, if Chennai receives it, assume that I will receive it. Next, what is G? 
government is so smart in business guys do you pay immediately no what the government says if you purchase something in september i should get the money in october i should get it immediately you can pay whenever you want so the government wants the tax but that's not fair for whom guys the supplier because he has to pay the government very soon so they say listen you have to make a pinky promise mother promise to pay the supplier within how many days on it and that is a rule called rule 37 Guys, 180 days basically means let's say September, so October, November, December, Jan, Feb, March. You have to pay by when? March. If you pay by March, you can take the credit right now. Pay by March, life is good, no problem. But if you break that pinky promise, mother promise, then R I. What is R I? What the credit is? Let's say you bought batteries worth one lakh, credit of twelve thousand. That twelve thousand has to be reversed. Reverse means you have to put in which ledger? Liability ledger. Along with interest at what rate? 18% who takes the interest guys government you are fighting with the supplier government takes the cake guys yes they take 18% interest from the day you take the credit till the day you pay this interest to the government the interest will get calculated and ultimately guys what if i pay not in march april but in may then in may i can recredit how much amount 12000 but what about the interest goodbye tata gone yes all right next guys what is r return who wants to take credit EBC, so EBC, you'll have to file your returns on time. Next, guys, if you are buying capital goods, yes, sixteen three. Guys, two good movies right now, Jawan and Jailer. Today Sunday, can you watch both of them? Yes, of course you can, but not at the same time. So the one they say that if you buy a capital goods like Tempo for ten lakh rupees GST, how much? One lakh eighty. Remember, guys, Tempo how much for? How much GST? You bought this on the fifteenth of. December 2022. Keep this in mind, guys. While you're revising this video, also, then in that case, they say that you can capitalize it, but only up to how much? 10 lakh. But if you take 1.5 lakh, 1.8 lakh, where? In the balance sheet. That means you're taking what on it? Depreciation. Then you can't take what, guys? Credit. And where will the smart guy do? Because credit you get immediately. Depreciation in parts. So be the smart guy. 16.3 and 16.4 says, guys, is there an expiry? Yes. Today on a Sunday, guys, will you eat a pizza? But will you eat a pizza which is four years old? No, that's expired. Same way, guys. In GST, guys, once you have to take credit for a particular year, please take it either in the year or in the next year by NA. What is the shortcut, guys? NA. What is NA? There are two dates, A and B. Fixed date is, and the next date is annual return filing date. N and A, whichever is early. What if you file your return on fifth December? Thirty fifth October. Fifth October, yes, whichever is early, and after that day for that year you will not get credit. That's expired. Are we okay with this, guys? Yes. Next, guys, that is section sixteen, rule thirty-seven A. We'll see ahead in another chapter. It linked to that chapter. Next, guys, seventeen five. Is it blocked? Yes. Some credit, even if it's for business purpose, it is blocked. The first thing the government cancelled a Mercedes plan, guys. Remember the one crore Mercedes? Yes. They said it's a van. It's a vessel. Aircraft and motor vehicle. Motor vehicle is anything which is about twenty five cc. They said on that credit is blocked unless on the number plate. What you can see? Yes, God's blessing, mother's blessing, and GST. Please, G is what? Good for. If it's for transportation of goods, we we'll give it to you. Same line of business here means you're selling or you're renting. Both are same line. And what is T? Training of riding the uh, car, etc. And what is P? I said P only applies to motor vehicles. If the motor vehicle is more than half a meter. Guys, what if the exam they say thirteen? No, more than thirteen, including driver, excluding driver. Because if the driver is not there, dangerous car. Right? Yes, so including driver always. Yes, that seventeen five VAM. Guys, if the main car is allowed, is the repairs allowed? GST, yeah. maintenance, leasing, insurance. Yes, but if the main car is not allowed, seventeen five B. Guys, you throw a huge party, food and beverage, beauty treatment, gym membership, club membership, insurance, holiday. The government says sorry, ITC is. Block unless SS yes. same line of business or statutorily required will give it to you. Otherwise, you will not get. Next is C. Guys, you are constructing an amazing immovable property, but the government says this is block. block. Reason is when you sell this immovable property, no GST. Hence, it is block unless you call it P S P. What are you developing? What are you constructing? Plant and machine, including its foundation, you will get it. S. And last is debit to the P and L account. Yes, you will get in these three cases, guys. Remember, immovable property also includes telecom towers, also includes pipelines. Excellent. D is the same. Same instead of constructing, you're getting it. Same P S P. What is E? You see composition scheme, guys. Composition scheme dealers because you pay us only how much percent? 
sorry, will not be able to give you credit. You already knew this. What is F? Foreigner. Yes, foreigners. F is a bad word. Yes, here also F is a bad word, guys. Foreigners. In case of foreigners, N R T P, guys. Sorry, will not be able to give you any credit, guys. Unless it's C A final, we'll see. Import will give you credit. Yes. Next G. Where are you going to go now? In some time. Ghar pe. Guys, if you take your supply ghar pe, that means we sub with supply, guys. Personal supply, you will not get any G S T. But I've already taken it. What is it? Happy. That's you in fifteen minutes, guys. Happy. I'm unhappy. That maybe you in half an hour. Yes. So happy means some you given some gifts, samples, etc. In that case, government says no credit because they don't get any money. And unhappy means if the goods are lost, stolen, destroyed, or obsolete. What is obsolete? In all these cases, the government doesn't get GST, so you don't get what guys credit. Next guys, I have you taken some credit? But the government says you've taken maybe fraudulently, so they can block the credit till they investigate. This is linked to which rule? Let's finish the rule right now only, guys. In eighty six A, can they restrict your ITC? Yes, only with the permission, prior approval of the commissioner. Second, they can restrict it for maximum. And guys, in that one year, can you apply for the blockage? Yes. The the reasons to restrict your ITC could be supplier is non-existent, recipient is they have made supply without issuing invoice, or they issued invoice without making. Or the government has not got the GST. That is rule eighty six A A for Hawaii. Now, guys, do you know give and take? I'm making taxable supply. Will I get credit? I'm making export supply. Will I get credit? Guys, nice export supply. There is no GST, but still the government loves it. Same export supply is equal to SEZ supply. I'm making personal supply, and I'm making exempt supply. Exempt is how many ends? A. Either nil supply I'm making. Non-taxable or exempt by notification. I don't get any credit because life is all about give and take. Next, guys, some things I use common. Is that common credit is only at CA final. That is seventeen to seventeen three. So that's only proportional CA final. If someone tells you guys rule forty two, rule forty three, I block those people. Yes, because we'll meet them at CA final. Those people. Next, guys, seventeen four. I have now an option. They can choose two ways of taking it. See, what is the first way? Proportionate. Yes. What is the second way? B D fifty-five. But why only banks? Because guys, banks some of their supplies exempt. Like money, interest is exempt. Some of the supplies taxable, like checkbook charges, maintenance charges. So the government says we'll follow B D fifty percent for the month. First, take the entire credit. That is one lakh. Then minus what? No. Blot. Whatever is blot under seventeen five remove because that you won't give. Next. <laughs> Have you received some services from another branch? Take that hundred percent. Remove it and take it. And balance. Why fifty percent? We are assuming fifty percent is for exempt, so we are not giving it. Fifty percent is for taxable. And once you take this scheme, it is valid for how long, guys? One year. Guys, we celebrate now. Happy music in the background. Okay, we'll do the happy later. But guys, once you buy an asset, it should be used for how many years? That is sixty months. If you sell it within five years or within sixty months, the government says, "Sorry, why did you do this? We gave you entire credit of how much on the tempo? One lakh eighty. In which month?" So now that you're reversing it, A or B, whichever is okay. higher, guys. This is sale price into, and this guys. One minute, very carefully. Did you use the asset? But how many quarters did you use it? For example, four quarters. How many quarters? Four. Then four into five percent, twenty percent. I'll give you, but eighty percent I will take it back. And this is that balance, right? This is that eighty percent. Whichever is, you'll have to pay to the government. Means put it in which ledger? Liability ledger. What if I sell after five years? No, 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 no. Still, A will be there. Why A will be there? Because once you are registered, every supply will be GST. And what if you are selling molds, dyes, leaf factory bricks? Always and always only A. Next, guys, I am selling my business. I am amalgamating my business. I am merging my business, or I am reorganizing. Sam R. In that case, guys, can I transfer my ITC? Mm -hmm. Only in these cases you can transfer. In case of merger, based on value of assets, and you will fill up a form. Press submit. They will accept it. Your ITC will go to them, but also your liabilities will go to them. Remember. And what if you have a brother in the same state? Can you transfer again based on value of assets? But your brother is in Delhi. You can't transfer. I feel bad about it, but you can't transfer because Karnataka will not give the GST to whom Delhi. All right. Next, that is eighteen three guys. Now happy music. Four occasions when you are really happy, guys. When you are registering, why are you registering? Liable to register. Superb. Or why are you registering? Voluntary. Why are you registering? Composition scheme is regular keep and exempt supply. Absolutely. 
guys what music can you hear in the band yes very happy music the government is happy they say from today onwards you supply will lead to gst your purchase will lead to but from yesterday also if you have some stock i'll i'm ready to give you what and in, as long as the stock is how old fresh from one year old and on capital goods the first two guys were not registered so they'll not get but the next two yes but just like a second and iphone you won't pay the full price the government will not give the full gst they will minus how much percent per quarter yes, are you okay with this guys yes 181 and 182 said the stock should be fresh you are also have to fill up a form if the itc is more than 2 lakh get a cs certificate and last thing sad music in the background guys 18 Four and eighteen five. You are calling the government. The government. I am getting into from regular scheme into which scheme. What I am getting into? Taxable supply is becoming. The government. The I don't want to see your face from today onwards. Your supply. No GST. Your purchase. And even before you, I gave you some credit. Give me back. Whatever is a stock, you have to reverse it. Yes. Let's say stock is sixty eight thousand. Where will that go? In the liability ledger plus whatever asset that tempo I give you credit. Give it to me back. But will you give hundred percent back? You will say, government, I use it for ten months. How many months? So I'll take the credit for ten months. Fifty months, I will re I will reverse it in which ledger? Liable. Let's say your total liability is two lakh sixty eight. On that day, your credit is three lakh sixty eight. Can you pay? Yes. What happens to the balance one day? But why can't I carry forward? Because you won't need it. In which scheme are you getting into? Oh. Or which is the supply becoming exempt? So you won't need it. Unfortunately, you'll have to forego it. What is the word, guys? Oh. For rule forty four, this is rule forty four, and the section is eighteen four. That's how the, you'll remember four. Actually, the word is labs. What is the word, guys? And remember, guys, in ITC and payment chapter, lab supply leads to what? So you will get a liability ledger. Yes, purchase leads to what? You will get a credit ledger, and then you have to pay your liabilities, pay your electricity bill, guys. Last thing, section forty nine e, section forty nine b, and rule eighty eight a says, is there an order of utilization of credit? Yes. First, guys, whose money will be used? Parents. That is IGST credit. I'll start using that to pay whom? Myself. That is IGST liability. If I have extra money, guys, do I have to exhaust it? Yes. Before we touch CGST, SGST credit, we have to exhaust this. Which child will be helped? Whoever is more needy. One guy is full. The other guy is needy. The other guy. Both are needy. Both are, both are not needy. We are good parent guys. In case both are not needy, give them equal money. And after this is exhausted, what will you use? C and SGST credit, helping themselves first. If they have extra money, can they help parents? But if they have extra money, can they help each other? So which is that GST which can take any credit? I GST. Which is that credit which I C N S cannot be cross utilized? And this is the section. We'll revise payment afterwards the ledgers. But more or less, guys, this is the. All right. Let's start. Everyone, contribute wherever you recollect. Yes, guys. Whenever you register under GST, there are three ledgers which open up. Guys, the first ledger, liability ledger. So whenever you supply, it leads to what, guys? Then one more ledger which opens up, credit ledger. Whenever you purchase, it leads to what? Credit. And then there is what? Cash ledger is whenever you deposit money, it's like a bank account. It goes into a cash ledger. Let's talk about liability ledger. Supply leads to what? If the supply is interstate, yeah, interstate. If the supply is intrastate, yeah, let's see. So there are only three different types of liabilities. Liability to pay every month. Yes, it's like an electricity bill, guys. Do you have to pay it every month? So if the month is in September, when will you pay the liability? By twentieth October. Yes. And how do you pay your liability? First, you will use. Credit and then you will use cash. Great guys, I have some liabilities pending of August. Can I directly pay of September? No. There is a order. Repeat. There is a order of discharging a liability. What is the first order, guys? The self assess TIFCO. What is it? TIF. What is TIFCO, guys? Tax, interest, fees, penalty, others. Very good. Self assess TIFCO. This is of which period first? Fine. You cannot go ahead before you finish. You cannot finish. You cannot go to enter whether you finish foundation. So finish that first and then move ahead. What is the second one, guys? Sell, process, tip for these two you will pay. But sometimes, guys, the officer feels you paid hundred, but you should have paid hundred and five. So can the GST officer determine? Yes. So the GST officer determines. There are section called seventy three and seventy four, which you will see at CA final. This is the order. So first. Prior period, next, and last is 
Perfect. That's your first ledger, liability. Second ledger. Credit ledger. What is the second ledger? All right. Guys, what leads to credit? But do you have some condition? DR, DR, GR, all those conditions have to be met and you can take the amount to which ledger, guys. Is there any expiry of using it? No expiry to use it. That means, can I use the credit in this month? Next month, next to next month, yes, but there is craft. Do you remember the shortcut? Guys, the credit can only be used to pay tax. Which one, guys? FCM tax. But what about if for? What about interest, fees, penalty, others, RCM tax? How will you pay that? Everything, guys, don't worry. If you can't use the credit ledger, you can always use the can. If you can't go left, you can always go. So this is the credit ledger, very simple. And credit ledger should make you happy. It's like your Paytm account. And what is the third ledger which opens up, guys? It's a can. So this is which ledger, guys? Cash ledger. And in the cash ledger, do you keep money deposited? Oh, just like your bank account. No, why? Because they don't pay you any interest. Yeah. So whenever you require, you do what? You deposit in the cash ledger. Guys, there are four major heads. Can you tell me the four major heads, guys? IGST, TGST, S and UTGST and GFT compensation says. And under the four major heads, there are five minor heads, guys. Under each of them, guys, there is tax, interest, fees, penalty, other. Now let's go and deposit some money. Guys, let's say I want to deposit IGST tax of 40,000 rupees. How can I deposit that? You tell me the procedure. First guys, you will fill up a chalan. Now guys, this chalan, is it a manual chalan? It's a electronic chalan. And are there different chalans? No. Just one chalan. Whatever you need to pay the government guys, only one chalan. You will fill up the chalan and the moment you generate the chalan guys, you will get a T pin, which number guys? Common portal identification, which is how many digits? And valid for how many days, guys? Perfect. So you don't have to pay immediately. Relax, guys. Go home, have lunch, have two, three lunches, come back. And then you can pay. So that's the chalan which you generate. Once you generate the chalan, guys, is the money paid already? No. You need to pay IGST. How much tax? How much amount? Now it's the time to pay and will you feel bad when you pay? Yes. In fact, it's almost like a sale. Because when you pay, you get a chala identification. How many digits, guys? So 14 from here plus how many, guys? Whichever bank you use, that bank three digits. Are we okay? So this is a SIN number. Now, guys, how can I pay? Can I use cash? Yeah. Check. Yeah. But those are painful. So they are called OTC. What are they called? Over. And it takes a lot of time. Someone giving you a check versus someone cheaping you. It's very, very different. So the government doesn't like this. So they said maximum how much? Per person, per tax period, guys, you have only 10,000 limits. So if I want to deposit 40, can I use cash? Can I use 10,000 cash, 10,000 check? No. Overall, guys, what is the limit? 10. But this limit does not apply to G, G, G. Does not apply to Government, GST officers when they do raids, etc. And GST officers when they sell assets, they confiscate assets and they sell the assets. And guys, what if Reliance want to pay 40,000 crore? Will they take cash? Will Mukesh money carry a suitcase? No. So then guys, they say you can use any other mechanism like NF, RTGS, KTM, karo, GPA, karo, kuch bhi karo. Any electronic mechanism, you can do that. So these are called all part others. Any limit here? No, why will the government set a limit? The more you pay, the better it is for them. All right. Next guys, if all of us in this classroom deposit 33,000 with HDFC bank, different branches, will the government go to each branch and collect money? Yeah. So the government says that every bank has to nominate one branch. Every bank has to nominate, which is called the electronic open point branch, where all the different, different money, let's say all of us deposit in HDFC different branches, they will all go into New Delhi branch. Yes, when they go there, and then the money will go to whom? Government, that is called electronic. And only when a big transaction, NEFT and RTU should happen, use the big guy, guys, RBI, that guy will act as an electronic focal point branch. Guys, in life, we always make mistakes and you made a mistake. You had to pay IGST tax and by mistake, you filled up SGST tax or worst SGST interest. Let's say doing five things and you were filling up the chalan and you made a mistake and you put 40,000 here. Can this be rectified? Your tax advisor is saying that you need to take a refund and then deposit fresh money. Guys. What will you do? You will change the tax advisor. Yes. And then you will do the right thing. What is the right thing, guys? You will feel GST, 
3MT09. This is a form which helps you transfer from one head to the other head. So from SGST, can I transfer to IGST? From inter, can I transfer tax? But only in which ledger? Cash. Cash. That's your money. And this is section 4910. Guys, all the three ledgers that we discussed till now are all under which section? So in the exam, whenever you quote a ledger, just add section 49. And 4910 is only for the transfer. Next, guys. If you pay someone on time, do they are they happy? Yes, but if you pay, including the government, when you pay late, they will charge what, guys? They will charge interest. Now, the government earlier had two rates of interest. One was, and one was, 24% was when you were, you know, excessively reducing your liability or increasing. But now the government has changed it to which rate only, guys? So if you're looking for revision amendments, this video will help you do that as well. Most of your amendments are covered in when the lectures only in the videos only. Yes, so 18% rate. Guys, my September invoice had to be paid by when? So till then, no interest. So interest will start from which date, guys? 21st October. And let's say I paid 10 days late. Will they charge me for 10 days? Yes. Into what rate? What amount? Now, that's important. <laughs> guys, I had to pay GST of 1 lakh. How much? And I had credit of 60,000, guys. So actually, I will pay in cash how much? So the government says that if you've not filed your return, repeat, if you've not filed, not filed means N, so you will use which amount? Now I'll tell you the logic also, guys. Not filed means have you used your credit? If you've not used your credit, you can use it now and you will pay only on what amount, guys? Net. So repeat the shortcut, not filed, net amount. But guys, by chance, you filed the September's return and in the month of December, you realize the mistake of September. Then you will use which amount, guys? Gross. Are we okay with this, everyone? And guys, this is section 50. Now, only thing is, how do you pay? And we've done this in ITC, so I'm going to keep it very brief. Guys, there are three liabilities, IGST, CGST, and SGST. These are liabilities. How do you create these liabilities? Supply leads to? And there are three credits also. Which are the three credits, guys? IGST, CGST, and SGST. Now, for which credit will you use? Pay what? And if that is done, guys, will you go to CNS credit? No. no. You will exhaust this. So second, also you will what use? IGST to help whom? Whoever is needy. Guys, don't be a good parent. Whoever is needy first. What if both are needy? Help both. What if both are not needy? Still, guys, help both and try and finish your liability. Once this is finished, can I go here? Yes. yes. And can I go here? Yes. They will help whom first? Guys, it's like the flight. Use your mask first and then help others. Yes. And when they've helped themselves, can they help parents also? But who cannot help each other? They cannot. Guys, this is the confusion which we can avoid if you know this shortcut of liability, electricity, will parents, children, etc. Yes, otherwise it gets very confusing. It's like a diagram which you can't get out of. Maze. Yes. And whenever you do this, and this will be your first question, guys, compulsory question, you will quote section 49A, section 49B. And rule 88, these are the rules and this is a section which tells you how to utilize your credit and how to pay your GST. That's a chapter called payment of GST and this is the beginning of a 40 minute break. This is a chapter called time of supply. Guys, whenever you see your watch by default, whenever you see the GST watch, the time is always on 12 and 13. This is the first chapter which puts two different sections for goods and for so, okay. till now, everyone has a common chap section. Guys, value supply was section 15. Whether it's services or goods. Uh, charge of GST was section 9. Whether it's goods or whether it's service. But this is the only one which has two sections. One for goods and one for service. And there is a mirror in the middle, guys. Imaginary mirror. I section 12, 1 and 13, 1 only tell you that, listen, please welcome to my house. If you're looking for time of supply of goods, then it's with section 12 and if it's services then which section guys okay. we'll do the same chapter the way you've written your handwritten notes you can revise with your handwritten notes guys sometimes you need to buy vouchers guys can you buy a voucher if you buy an amazon or a shop for stock voucher for 4000 rupees you always buy how many vouchers so guys do you know that person will buy what product yeah. when will you know what product they'll buy so guys the gst rate will be known only when it's redeemed and hence date or time of supply it will be the date of redemption. But guys, what if you buy a Titan voucher or what if you buy a McDonald's voucher, then do you know what is the GST rate on food and watches? Yes. So then it is the date of purchase. Mm -hmm. This is section 12. Four. 12 when it's coupon for goods and 13 when it's coupon for 
services. So is it mirror guys? Yes. Both of them talk about what guys? Vouchers. Not very important, but MCQs we don't know. Guys, next is 12, 6 and 13, 6. I have a very important question to ask you guys. EBC, when they sell bikes, can they also charge people interest? Yeah. Or they can charge yeah. late fee or they can charge penalty. Yeah. Because sometimes people delay the payment. So they may charge. It's not compulsory. They may charge 6,000 rupees. At what rate guys? 6%. Why? Because the shortcut is 6. So if they charge, they may charge. They can also wave it off. Remember, what if they wave it off? No GST and no time of supply, but if they receive it, guys, whenever they receive it, what is it? Date or receive will be the time of supply. Guys, can they receive a check? They receive a check today on 20th September. Can they deposit it tomorrow, 21st? Which date will you see? 20th. In your books of accounts or bank account, whichever is. It's very simple. This is 12.6 and this is 13.6. Both talk about what? Interest, late fee, or penalty. And both cases, what will the time of supply, guys? Date of receipt. That means all time of supply sections we see from whose perspective? Supply. In fact, the entire GST we see from whose perspective? Only when it's RCM we see from? So we're done with 12.4. We're done with 13.4. We're done with 12.6. We're also done with 13.6. Now guys, sometimes there is no detail available. When that person made a supply, what happened, etc. Remember my accounts faculty? Yes, I hope he's not watching this video ever. But his house got raided and you know what happened guys. In that case, the government says, if you don't know any detail, we'll use a residual case. Which case guys? And in the residual case guys, it is basically the 5 section. 12-5 or 13-5. In that case, if you don't know any detail, tomorrow morning, are you going to pay the GST? So whenever time, time of supply is whenever you pay. And by chance, if you don't pay, then it's whenever you file your return. So guys, this is time of supply till here. Now we go to the next one, guys, which is 12, 3 and 13, 3. Remember tobacco was sold to Marlboro. Remember tobacco being sold to whom, guys? Now tobacco is under RCM. How do you know? You don't know it because goods RCM is not for your portion, not even CFI. But I'm telling you in the exam, I'll also tell you there are goods, guys. What are they? Goods under what mechanism? So the moment you see that, you will go to which section for goods? 12 and for RCM, you'll go to which section? 3 and you write the shortcut. Recipient pays in 31 entirely. One more time, guys. Recipient pays in 31 entirely. Now, suddenly, it's not the farmer's perspective. It's Marlboro's perspective because he is what? Recipient. And this is RCM. The entire focus is on him. When has he received the books? When is he making the? In the bank account or books of account? Whichever is earlier. From the invoice, how many days, guys? Remember, some book says after the date of invoice, 30 days. Is it the same? Yes. And if all these three are not available, then only you will look at what guys? Entry. Marlboro must have made a journal entry. You will look at that date. But that is only when all these three are not available. What if all three are available? Earlier. What if two are available? Which is one available? That one. Only if all three are not available, then you will look at what guys? That is with section 12, 3 for what guys? Now let's look at 13, 3 guys. We know already some services which are under RCS. Remember lawyer? Some lawyer met, yes, all those are under RCM. Again, we look at from whose perspective? Same shortcut, guys. Recipient pays in 31 entirely. But here, right, because service, because it is what? You don't know the exact date. Like, yes, the can be providing a service. Do you know the exact date? No. So remove R. And in 31 becomes, guys, the only shortcuts for you to do using the rough work in the exam. So you will use which date? Whenever the recipient is making the Payment. Or invoice, how many days from that? Sure. Some books also write after the draw invoice, how many days? 60. And both these are not available, then you will look at what guide. So entry is like the 12th man, which you will use only in, in last resort. Guys, what if both the dates are there? Earlier. What if one is there? What if both are not there? That is section 13. Three. But guys, in some rare cases, you shop at your uncle's shop. Do you remember shopping at your uncle's shop? Will your uncle give you an invoice necessarily? No. So guys, if you are getting Bahar Se service, from where guys? Guys, is it taxable? Yes. 7-1-B says there will be what? GST as long as you are paying something. In that, who will pay? The guy in India will pay under which mechanism? So 13-3, guys, recipient pays in 31 entirely. What do you remove? This becomes what? 
But if Bahar say you're getting it from a related party, that is your uncle whom we call what guys? Associate Enterprise. Then he might not issue an invoice. So whether he issues an invoice or doesn't, you have to ignore invoice. We have to only look at what? But payment is feeling alone. So we also look at entry, whichever is available. So now entry, will it come inside? Yes. All right. And we move to the last one, guys, which is 12 to and 32. Guys, this is FCM. Yes. yes. 12 to is when there are goods supplied under what, guys? FCM. Example, EBC selling bikes is 12 to. Now in 12 to, we have to only look at three things. I, Reban, payment. So we have to see invoice date. Or due date of invoice. Guys, is there a due date of invoice? Yes. Whenever the goods are removed or for sale on approval? Not when they are removed, when they are approved. Guys, there are some exceptions. You know that. I'm not discussing that because that will come in a chapter called invoice. So either the invoice date or due date of invoice or which date, guys? Payment date. But remember, guys, if there is any advance payment, if there is any, it has to be ignored as the notification number. So only in this section, I'm highlighting guys, only in 12 to, you have to ignore which payment and all. You don't have to consider it. But I'm giving you a pro tip. Even later payment has to be ignored. Why? Because it is earlier of the three. So if this payment, if this is August, this is September, this is October, will it automatically be ignored? Yes. So this is I demand what guys? Payment. And the last section which remains here is what guys? 13 to, which is services under FCA. Here guys, there are two steps. Step one, step two. Step one, you have to see whether the invoice, whether the has been issued on time or has the invoice been issued. Yeah. But what is this invoice on time or late? I'll tell you guys. The GST law says that once you provide services, you have to issue the invoice within how many days? But for banks, insurance, telecom, 45. If you issue on time, will we respect the invoice? Yes. And the shortcut is? AIP. Invoice date or payment date, whichever is... So here, do we ignore advance payment? No. Like nowhere we ignore advance payment. If you are receiving money in advance, the government also wants GST. And if it's late, if the invoice is beyond how many days? 30 days or beyond how many days? Then it is PP. Provision date, payment date, whichever is earlier. I am telling you in the exam, they want to trick you. They will give you telecom company and they'll give you 40 days. Are they on time? Yes. Because telecom company gets how many days? They will give you insurance company 42 days. Are they on time? Yes. So be careful because some companies get how many days? And guys, sometimes my geo bill is 960 rupees. How much guys? But I paid geo 1000 rupees. So how much have I paid geo extra? 30 rupees extra. The government says, listen geo up to 1000 extra. Up to how much? For payment up to 1000 extra, you have a choice. Either pay the bill on the GS. You have a choice whether you pay with this bill or you pay with next bill. No problem. Guys, remember this. This is your chapter. In the exam, when you see time of supply, don't start reading it. Step number one, figure it is goods or service. If it's goods, section. If it's service, section. Stop there. Then check if it's FCM or if it's FCM, two. If it's RCM, if it's voucher, if it's interest, six. Plug that, write the shortcut in the rough code, guys, and fetch the fill in the blanks and get your answer. It is one of the easiest chapters if you know the shortcuts. All the best. Take a break, 30 minutes. Thank you so much. I know, I know, guys. Sunday and all, guys. Let's make it really good. Yes, everyone. Guys, recapping a chapter which is called tax invoice, debit notes, credit notes, and EA bills. Now, EA bills are a part of another chapter which is called accounts, records, and EA bills. People packing, stop packing, guys. Everyone who's packing, stop packing. We'll record otherwise two chapters. Yes, people are packing, stop packing. So, tax invoice, debit notes, credit notes, and EA bills, guys, are. Is the chapter of course, EA bills now out, guys? Why out? Yes, yes. Accounts records and e bills. So separate. So we need to revise this, guys. Tax invoice isn't needed. Yes. Because yes. it's an indication of supply. When you wish for supply, can you use the printer? Oh, your smile, guys. Oh, because there's an indication yes. we will get GST. Also, when you take credit, you need a invoice. So invoice is absolutely essential. Section section 21. Is there some due date by when invoice should be issued? We write the time supply for not revising it again, but main hero is removal and Delivery for goods and for services, 30 and 45, but 45 of banks, financial, NBFCs, and insurance companies also raise there. Yes, so 45 days they get to uh, raise an invoice. Please, please tell me, can you be very busy? If you are value supply, there's then how much to it. Examine your product, you will be pending. It will be issued invoice to you. 
So no individual invoices, they can issue a consolidated invoice at the end of the day for themselves. But if it's a P2P supplier, they have to. If it's exactly one, they have to. Because below 200, they don't have to. Next, composition scheme dealer will issue what? Bill of supplier. Exam supplier will issue what? But you are making taxable and exam supplier, then invoice some bill of supplier. Can you demand an advance? Can you pay someone pay an advance also, guys? For that, they will have to issue an invoice. Why not invoice? If a supplier has to happen, so you issue a voucher called receipt voucher. But by chance, the supplier gets cancelled, guys. Will you give it back? Yes, it's called a refund voucher. Next, guys, some uh, person does all the work. Do you remember RCM recipient? Is he wearing the burden? Yes. Is he wearing the headache? Yes. But guys, he does not have an invoice. The lawyer did not raise an invoice because he can't charge GST. So you have to self-create or self-generate an invoice. And whenever you pay, you'll have to have to make a payment voucher. And guys, remember, can there be an effective date earlier than the actual date? Yes. yes. If you're liable, and to an LPR, liable, active, then you need to issue revised invoices. Guys, today is the 24th September. Can this be your effective date? Then, guys, whenever you get your registration certificate from that day, how many days? 30 days to issue revised invoices. Guys, will people accept revised invoices or not? B2C people will hang up, guys. But B2B people, yeah. they will accept it. You have to revise invoices within 30 days. And if they are one person only, then consolidate also. Unless it is interstate, more than 2,50,000. All these invoices are under one section only, which is section 30. 30. 32 is unauthorized collection of invoices. Are you supposed to collect when you're not registered? No. Are you supposed to collect at a higher rate? No. So that's unauthorized. But by the way, guys, if you collect it, who's getting happy? No. You need to pay. 33 says, guys, can you separate it? Foundation food and internal finding, yes. Same way you need to separate GST amount, GST rate and value supply in the invoice. If you write one lump sum, that's not right because section 33 does not allow that. Next says section 34. Guys, can you issue debit notes and credit notes? Yes. Guys, mainly you issue invoice. But in relation to that supply, there's some mistake in the quantity or the tax or the value short term. Q A V. There's some mistake in the invoice, guys. In the invoice as compared to actual supply, you issue a debit note or a credit note. Whenever the QTD is higher, so you can't give it by issuing what? Credit note. Or in returns, you will also issue credit. But in credit note, guys, you are happy, but someone's not happy. Because the value goes down, the GST goes down. So they say there is a time limit to issue credit notes for this year, next year's any. Do you know any guys from various chapters? So I'm not recapping that. And debit note, guys. Debit note has to be issued only when the QTV is. So that means you're doing increase it, and that's dangerous because increasing it. Also means increasing your GST. So danger is but who's happy here? Very smartly they said no time limit. So time limit only applies to which note? This is section 34. Section 35 is not that case. So we go to invoice. Guys, in the invoice, can you put your photo? Yes, why not? Your family, how to photo that? Yes. In different color, your favorite color, orange wall also, yes. You can do anything, but some details are required, like GST number, invoice, etc. HSN code, how many digits? It's not turn away the last day, more than five. More than five is how much? Six. Can you name the recipient? Yes. You know, B2B, you should, because he wants credit. B2C? No, it's more than 50,000. Otherwise, not compulsory. And will you serially number it? Yes. yes, maximum 16 digit of uni serial number. You will issue the uh, invoice in triplicate for goods. Customer is key. So you have given the main count to keep a second copy and the transport. And for services, duplicate already. Guys, now I have heard everything is electronic. Yes. Today's you on your phone, electronic also. Yes. So, and some people watching also, electronic Sunday. So, e invoice also on electronic. So, you have e invoice. E invoice is not taking a photograph and sending it to people. No. Key invoice basically means registered, some registered person for which supplies. Only B2B supplies, they have to go make a normal invoice first. After making a normal invoice, they have to go to the IRP invoice registration portal and they will generate an IRN along with a QR code. So they will get an invoice with an IRN invoice registration number and a QR code. Now, once that is done, you guys can just send it everywhere. Yeah. Yes, this is great. Thanks only for B2B and for those people whose turnover is more than 5 euro. Guys, the turnover earlier was different. Now it is what, guys? 5 euro. If you've been having turnover of more than 5 euro since any year since 17, 18, then this applies to you. Is there a one thing? Yes, some people don't apply this. PG taken by boils and girls and SSA from passenger transport. So it's fine. Theater. Banks, government, and SEZ units. Let's put them up. Oh, they have no excellent. 
And guys, is this a good thing? It is a way to report and reconcile fail errors from the back. Any errors, transcription errors, like copying errors will be reduced. Any fail invoices will be reduced. Reconciliation is now easy. I have reported in the returns. Yes, when you fill this invoice, the details get reported in GSTR 1. And when you fill this, it will much be uploaded in e way of this. So it's much easier for e invoice. So these are the advantages. Guys, predictability is very high for this to come here, exam. And what's a dynamic QR code? Yeah. QR code is a code to make payments, digital payments, and dynamic QR code which has which has embedded on. So you save three seconds of your life. Do you remember that, guys? Yes. This is applicable only in case of B2C and only if the registered person's turnover has been more than five years in any year since 17, 18, and any year, only then this is applicable to you. And um, this is only B2C. But can yeah, other people also apply? Yes. And guys, sometimes we don't issue an invoice, we issue a delivery charge. Especially when you're not making a supply. Example, guys, sending it for an exhibition. Delivery chala. Sending it to a job worker. Sitaram was dying. Yes, you saw that, guys, if that job worker. So, again, which one is? Uh, delivery chala. Guys, SKB, CK, did you remember? Complain the now come, send it, now come. Are you sending in parts? The first supply will have the invoice. The remaining supplies will have. So this is delivery Chalan. This is your video. This is a very boring chapter, a very theoretical chapter. Watch this video. Do as many scores. Yes. Although, guys, it's done. Um, exemptions you will get as a small video, but don't worry about that. Focus on what you know. I am really, really happy with GST getting completed today. Yes. Nice. Really happy. And more than that, guys, it's completed in such a nice manner. I've got all the responses. All right, so recording a chapter which is a chapter called Returns. This chapter has a lot of details in terms of return numbers, but with shortcuts, I think we should be able to get done with this. Guys, a chapter called Returns in GST, guys, who knows what happened with you? Only you know, and you who needs to know about it. The government, so you tell the government by filing returns. Do you file monthly returns? Yes, sometimes we have an option of filing quarterly, but you also file annual returns. How do you file this return, guys? GST board. Can you take help of GSPs? Yes, and there are some offline utilities also who can help you file the return. Guys, when you file a return, does it have an impact on the other person? Yes, every return that you file has multiple impacts, and hence returns have to be filed really, really well. Guys, what is the first intention of every business? To sell, to supply. And the government says that whenever you supply, whenever you sell, EBC, battery supply company, me, Yashas Academy, anyone, whenever we make outward supply, we need to tell the government at the end of the month, guys, we need to file GSTR 1. Guys, GSTR 1 is not actually a return where we pay money. It's a statement where we tell the government what all we've supplied. So let's think of battery supply company. Battery supply company has made one supply to whom, guys? EBC. Is this B2B supply? Yes. In this case, will EBC take credit? So for all B2B supplies, we need to give invoice wise details because someone at the other end will want to take what? Credit. On the other end, guys, BSC can also supply to students. This, will they take credit? No. So it's B2C. So here we don't need to give invoice wise details. We can give answer. But if some student is buying interstate more than how much? Government is like, why is some consumer buying interstate more than two and a half lakh? Remember, guys, you don't buy such high value interstate. And hence, in that case, exception, the government wants to know invoice wise dealer. By the way, a question to you if they are supplying to a composition scheme dealer, is that also B2B? Yes, because composition is also registered. So, that is supply of uh, outward supply. Who does not need to file GSTR? Is not compulsory. ISD, CA finding. NRTP, OIDR, CA finding. TDS, TCS, now CA inter. And remember, composition scheme guy. Those guys are very happy because they don't need to file which return, guys? GSTR 1. Guys, this month's GSTR 1, when will you file? Next month by the 10th. So that's the due date, guys. And uh, if you don't have any outward supply, which return will you file? Will return. And can you use SMS facility for that? Yes. Guys, in GSTR 1, do you quote HSN codes? If you're a big supplier, last year's turnover more than 5. So how many digits? 6. If it's up to 5, then 4 digits. And that too, it's not compulsory for P2C. Uh, that's HSN code, etc. Guys, you made a mistake in GSTR 1. Can it be corrected? 
Yes, in a way, but you can't go back and revise the train has left the station. So no return can be revised or modified, but you can correct it in the month in which such error or omission has been noticed. And guys, whenever you order in Zomato through Domino's, do you call up Domino's? No, it gets auto populated. Same way, whatever details you put in GSTR 1 will get auto populated in GSTR 2A and GSTR 4A. 2A for normal, 4A for the others. And guys, do we need to upload scan copies? No, we don't need to upload scan copies. We just need the details. At this stage, guys, you can use the quick book to solve ICI material question. And November 20, which question, guys? 7C, how many marks? Famous. GSTR 2. Guys, is it an invert supply return? But the government has got done to it. Be notified. So it's a dinosaur now. It will not be activated. Now GSTR 3B, guys. Is this the main return? Yeah. Every month, do you need to fill your return? When you file your return, you'll check what? Liability. And you'll check what? Credit. And you will pay. You'll tell the government, I need to pay you 40,000. It is called self assess. What is it called? You need to file this return by the next month. 20th. Guys, what if you give an empty envelope? Yeah. You need to fill up the money and then pay the government. Guys, here also, who does not have to file GSTR 3B? Is not coming. And what if it's nil? Yes, nil means no outward, no inward. How many hands, guys? Two hands, both should be empty. So here, this is GSTR 3B. Our next guy is GSTR 4. Here, you can do this sum, November 19. GSTR 4, guys, who is the easy guy? Composition. He has to sleep how many times? Wake up at the end of the month, file only one return, which is called GSTR 4 by 30th April, April after the year. But guys, is the government going to wait till then for the payment? Oh. They say no, you can file your return later, but the payment is delinked. What is the word? Delink. Not aligned. Guys, you have to pay every quarter. Wake up April, May, June. When? 18 July. July, August, September. October, November, December, 18 Jan and the likes. Guys, you have to wake up and pay by filing GST CMV 08. Now guys, what if I'm in both the scheme, composition also and regular also? While I'm in composition scheme, wake up how many times? Four times. While I'm in the other scheme, wake up every month. And GSTR 4 also has to be filed? Yes. Next, guys. Who has gone to five countries? Tesla. Remember NRTP? NRTP, when they come to India in the exhibition, guys, are they supplying? They need to tell the government what they've supplied by filing a return called GSTR. Five. In this return, mainly they don't pay tax because that has already been paid as an advance. So they take what guys? Refund. That's GSTR 5. They need to file the return by when? Next month, 20th. But what if the registration is ending? And within seven days, whichever is early. Guys, how many embassies in India? 11. Guys, they have a unique identity number. Do they want to claim refund? Government says you are so powerful, I'll give you refund. Don't worry on the purchases, but just do one thing. File a return called GSTR. File the 11th by the 20th of the next month. And guys, any return filed under GST, can it be revised? No. Can it be modified? Can it be changed? Then what can I do? Any changes, any errors or omission can be made only in the month in which you discover. Guys, you discovered, you made a mistake, your son discovered it. Can you make change? No. It cannot be done forever. It can only be done till next year, any. What is any? 30th November or annual return filing date, whichever is earlier. But guys, because of the delay, if you have to pay any interest, if you have to pay any amount, will you have to pay it along with what? Interest. At what rate? In entire GST now, what is the only rate guys? 18%. But guys, if you made a mistake in refund or credit, will the government give you interest? No. That's your mistake. Government doesn't compensate. Guys, first return, we will see an invoice chapter when we do a revision of that chapter. Guys, which is the one which CA takes 9 lakh rupees? GSTR 9, that's called annual return. Guys, besides the monthly return, at the end of the year, you also have to file an annual return. What is the due date? 31st December. Of this year or next year? After the year end, guys, you need to file. And GSTR 9 is to be filed by everyone except, very important, is not casual. So here it's not, is not compulsory, is not casual. Guys, GSTR 9 is the main one. GSTR 9A, ARA. CSD. GSTR 9B, big. Big e-commerce operator. And GSTR 9C. Is for those who are doing a checking reconciliation. Yes. And now guys, you are saying goodbye to GST. Is it your final return? Sorry. Yes. After 10 years, GSTR 10. Do you remember that guys? You are filing a return called GSTR 10, which is the final return. Is it same as annual return? No, they both are independent. Annual return is to be filed every year. Final return only when your GST registration is getting cancelled. Guys, the final goodbye, you will file GSTR 10 within how many months? Three months from OC. Do you remember OC? Free. Guys, O is what? Order of cancellation. Or C is what? 
date of cancellation, whichever is later. Next, guys, no uh, 46. Will they remind you? Yes. Guys, Jio reminds you to recharge, same with GST, it reminds you to file your returns. How many days in advance? Three, Three days. If you don't file again, they remind. And guys, if you file your return late, what will happen? Late fees. This late fees, this all the revision video is there, but late fees you have to check in the amendment video because it keeps changing. So whenever you record, you watch the amendment video, you'll get late fees. And guys, as a CA, can you help people file returns? But there is a friend of ours called GST. Is he a GST expert? Yes. He can also help people file GST returns. But for that, what is the requirement, guys? He should be a Indian citizen. He should be sound mind. He should be a solvent. And he should be a qualification wise. Either graduate in any of the commerce banking fields or a postgraduate or a CA. CS or a CA. But guys, CA, CS, half clear. No, full clear. Doctor, then they'll become compounder, guys. Never happens, but that's how it is. And it's an automatic. It's never automatic. You need to apply and you need to get enrolled. There are some exams you need to pass. And guys, can you do any work? Yes. As long as it's authorized. And you have a separate login ID. And the best part is, if you do any mistakes, client is responsible. That is GST practitioner section 48. Life was good, but it was very busy because you had to file how many GST R ones? Well, right. how many GSTR freebies? Right. So how many returns? Then? 24. So you went to the government. Government, I want a quarterly option. What do I want? Quarterly option. The government says, of course, I'll give probably only if you're small. How small? Five. Right. Last year's turnover should be up to. So don't worry. April, May, June, straight file the return for one quarter only once. Is that a great thing, guys? Absolutely smashing plan called quarterly return. But who's the problem person here? B2B supplies. Because B2B, if they bought in the month of July, when have they bought? When does the quarter end? September. September. They will have to wait. Guys, do people like waiting? No. So for the first and second month, that is July and August, you will file what? IFF. Invoice furnishing facility. IFF is a facility only for which supplies. So if you have any B2 supplies, if you have any B2B supplies, you will put in the IFF. And that can take uh, B2B supplies up to how many lakhs? 50 lakhs. So you will put B2B supplies. Example, you supply to EBC 1 lakh batteries, GST 12,000. Can EBC take credit now? Yes, problem solved. So first month, what do you file? IFF. Second month, what do you file? Third month, what do you file? GSTR 1, including every other detail which you have not filed in the IFF. You will not repeat the details. As you will file IFF by the next month, 13. So July, you will file in August 13. August, you will file it. September 13 and the way. And whatever you have to pay, you will have to pay. Is when you have to pay, you have to calculate credit also. But that's a painful thing. So the government has said a very nice method of payment called fixed sum method. They say that whatever you paid last month, whatever you paid last month in the cash ledger, same you pay this month also. So last month I paid 9,000. Should I pay 9,000? Yes. That's very simple. But if there is any shortfall, you will have to pay the shortfall, but no. In Great. Right. What if my last month's return was quarterly? Then don't pay 100% of that. Pay one third, but one third is complicated, so they say 35 percent. And guys, if I don't want to do fix some method, can I do self assessment method? Self assessment means I'll calculate my credits, but in that case, if there's any shortfall, I will have to pay this. Guys, this scheme is great, it's called QRMP quarterly return monthly payment scheme. But this scheme will withdraw the moment you touch a turnover of every year you have to check. This year, three crore, no problem. Next year, three crore, no problem. In one year, if you touch five crores, you're out of the scheme. Also, guys, if you don't file your GSTR 1, if you don't file your GSTR 1, if you don't follow that 1% rule, remember the shortcut 511. What is 511? If you touch turnover of? If you don't file GSTR, even in that quarter, and if you don't follow that 1% rule, remember rule 86B beg, but if you don't follow, they'll chuck you out of the scheme. And this scheme, the best part is you don't need to take it pan wise, you can take it GSTN wise. And also one last thing, if in this quarter, July, August, September, if I want to take up the scheme, when should I take it up? Go to the last quarter. 1, 2, L, 1. So last quarter is what? April, May, June. The first day of the second month. Means from 1st May to L1. Last day of the first month. That is 31st July. It is during this period, guys. 1 to L1. Only this period you can take for this quarter. What if you miss this date? No problem. Next quarter, you can always take in. But once you've taken, you don't have to take in every month. It's automatic. It continues. Guys, great. So guys, the next match is the India-Pakistan match in Gujarat. I'm really excited for it. Do you know the scores already? No. But when they are playing, will the scores change? That's called real time. What's it called? 
after india wins this match which i'm expecting it will win and then guys will the remain score remain static same happens in gstr 2a and 2b what is 2a when you purchase someone is putting in the gstr one some details they're not submitting it have they putting the details when they put the details it starts reflecting in your gstr 2a guys will you feel happy about it yes once they fill up gstr one and they press submit that 2a that is real time or dynamic what is it called real time or dynamic will it become frozen it will become static and that will got gstr 2b and now onwards guys your itc will be available only if the amount is reflecting in gstr 2b otherwise you will not get so remember that self assessment when i can say i am getting credit of 30000 supplier says 25000 what would i get 30 now that is removed now whatever is reflecting in with gstr guys gstr 2b that is to be noted guys this is a very very important chapter called returns watch this video do as many sums as you can read your hand on from november 23 do look at this this is only for may 24 exam and onwards this is a chapter which will find importance in your exam yes for may 24 this is my prediction if you are watching this video recorded you know that in a few days or a few months whenever you are watching this guys your this sum will be in the exam yes so with that kind of focus do this sir so tds what is the full form tax deducted at source we will first focus on that guys you are electric bike company and you sell bikes suddenly you got an order from a psc public like a sector they taking and this order is a big order worth 1 crore rupees guys so you are here ebc and you got an order from a public sector undertaking and they said we want bikes you said okay and the order value is let's say 1 crore rupees plus gst they are almost about to pay you the money when they realize that there are seven people how many people including public sector undertaking one of them who have to whenever they are paying you they have to deduct tds and pay to whom government at the rate of 2% guys this is a section called section 51 so whenever they are paying you the contract value what is the contract value here 1 crore rupees they will deduct how much 2% and pay to the government by the 10th of the next month so out of 1 crore what is 2% guys 2 lakh they will have to pay to the government how many people seven people who are the seven people guys government and la notify the sar so if you are selling to government central and state government if you are selling to any authority guys or agent sorry agency here of the government if you are giving it to local authority if you are in mumbai mumbai bmc if you are in delhi bmc if you are in bangalore bb mp then the government has notified three people guys any government society any government authority whether government has 51% or more or any public sector undertaking these seven people have to deduct tds at what rate 2% and collected and deducted and paid to the government guys this money has to go to the government by which month next month 10 they have to file a return call gstr Seven. Then why didn't we revise this while we were doing tax invoice or return chapter? Sorry, because I didn't tell you that TDS is now at C A inter. So GSTR seven has to be filed by people who deduct TDS and has to be filed by when? Ten. The moment they file that, don't worry, guys. This two lakh rupees will reflect in EBC is which ledger? Cash ledger. So they will reflect in GSTR seven A. They file GSTR seven auto public and GSTR seven A. What if they don't pay on time? Then on that amount till the delay they have to pay number of days into what rate eighteen percent interest. Guys, there will be no TDS in two cases. One of them you already know. One of them I'll teach you tomorrow. So we'll revise in the next additional point video. Guys, in case the seven people are selling goods to each other, there is no TDS. Guys, is there a TDS threshold? Yes. Yes. The contract value should be more than how much? Two point five lakhs of taxable. How much? If it's exempt, remove it. But this is including GST, excluding GST, excluding every value, exclude GST. You also you exclude GST, so it's beyond taxable value. Excluding GST should be more than how much, guys? Exact one, um, no, two lakh forty, no, two lakh forty with GST, two lakh sixty. No, you have to see a taxable value without GST. Now, guys, my contract value is one crore. How much is my contract value? Is it above the TDS threshold? But this month I'm only supplying one bike. Will there be TDS? Yes. yes. As long as the main contract is more than two and a half lakhs, individual supplies, whenever they are made, there will be TDS at what rate, guys? This two percent is IGST. What about a CNS? One one percent. Guys, depositing TDS has to be done seven seven A. And if you don't deposit, there will be interest at what rate, guys? Eighteen percent. And that amount, guys, will be reflected in the credit ledger, cash ledger, sorry. Now, what is section fifty two, guys? It is TCS. Similar concept, but now, guys, it's different because EBC. Is now selling their bikes on what website, guys? Flipkart is that an e-commerce operator? Yes. How many e-commerce operators in India? Many, but shortcut is eight e-commerce operators. Guys, will Flipkart sell bikes? 
Let's say they sold two twelve bikes. Out of that, two came return. How many total bikes? Ten. That's the net surprise. What is that? Every month, Flipkart, whenever they pay you, they will have to collect how much percent? One percent and pay to whom? Government. So yes, there was two percent there. There is one percent here. This is IGST. What if it's CNS? 0.5, 0.5, that is CNS GST. I say they have to pay this money to the government by when? Next month, 10. By filing a return called GSTR, 8. It will be auto populated in GSTR, 8, 8. And if they don't pay on them, they will have to pay any. Guys, what is the threshold here? No threshold at all. Every month, every e commerce operator has to deduct, has to collect 1%. Are we okay, guys? Yes, this is 8 and 8. But besides this monthly return, they also have to file an annual return. Remember GSTR 9B, B for what? Big, big e-commerce operators. If they don't file them, there's a penalty. Is this, uh, TCS will not apply in three cases, rent. What is rent? If the supply is under RCM, if your supply is exempt, and remember notify HTHR, housekeeping, taxi, hotel, and now you know, restaurant service guys, in that case, will Flipkart have to pay the GST? So there will be, yes, e-commerce operator. So hence in that case, there will be no TCS. I guess what if I am Titan watches and I am selling on Amazon? Yes, yes. yes, there will be TCS because they are different guys. The e-commerce operator is different and the supplier is different. But what if I am selling on my own website? Because it has to be different. Remember the pro tip, they have to be different. What if Flipkart purchases guys electric bike companies and then sells? Because now they are their own goods guys. So pro tip in the exam, there will be TCS only when the e-commerce operator is different and the supplier is different. Yes, this is 51 and 52. All right. They have to file a return, etc. It will reflect in which ledger, guys? Electronic. And guys, TDS and TCS working, people have to compulsory register. Remember I creation. In I creation, what is T? Yes, TCS. So I did not explain to you then, but now that you know we have this in portion, so TDS and TCS has to be have to be compulsory register. And TDS provisions apply even to a composition scheme dealer, something that we'll be discussing tomorrow in the additional funds. But this is a video, just some uh, differentiating between the two. TDS section 51, TCS section, TDS rate, TCS rate, TDS GSDR 7 here. A auto populated seven auto populated eight both have to pay by the ten both have eighteen percent interest one of them files the annual return TDS how much remember guys because TDS are government bodies there is no annual return there and TDS applies to how many people only seven as TCS applies to how many e-commerce operators eight but actually every e-commerce operator will be subject to what guys TCS there could be a really nice question on when should be deducted. Remember, there's a question number nine in your books. Focus on that question and solve that question once again. And you will know. And the exception also, you should know. One exception we will discuss in today.